the park. Thomas is about to do something very special after having a date with his girlfriend. It's so cold. Yeah, I think so too. Maybe this is the perfect time to say this. Huh? What do you want to tell me? Look at this. Raven, this is for you. Oh my god. Is this a wedding ring? Yes, it is. I'm proposing to you. Will you marry me? Wow. Am I dreaming? This makes me happy. No, this is not a dream. Marry me, dear. You'll be the happiest wife in the world. Then my answer is yes. Oh my god. I love you. Sooner, Thomas and Raven got married. But two years later. Cheer. Thank you, Jessica. You helped me get that $2 million contract. Please, don't thank me. That's my duty to do the job. All right. I have a reward for you. Thank you, boss. Can I pay the bill for this meal? Okay, if you want to. Excuse me. My wife is calling me. No problem, boss. What's the matter? Thomas, I need help. Can you come home now? I think I will give birth sooner than expected. Listen, Raven. I'm not in the mood for jokes now. Stop disturbing me. Thomas, don't hang up. Is everything okay, sir? Yeah, everything is fine. I don't want to be rude, but didn't she say something about giving birth soon? That was just a joke of my wife. No, boss, I don't think so. You should go home and take care of her. We can celebrate on another day. It's okay, Jessica. Don't bother. Let's continue the party. But one hour later. Now what? Can't you leave me in peace for a while? Hey, listen to me. What the? Who on earth are you? Why are you answering my wife's phone? Are you my wife's lover? I'll destroy you. Calm yourself. I'm not your wife's lover. I'm a doctor working at the NYC maternity hospital. Your wife is here. And she's going to give birth to your son soon. Come here right away. Oops. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm coming. Excuse me, Jessica. I need to come to the hospital right away. My wife and my son is waiting. Okay. But let me drive you there. You had too much wine this evening. It's not safe for you to drive alone to the hospital now. Thanks. Please do me a favor. Doctor, is my son okay? Yeah. Congratulations. Hold him. Welcome to the world, my little angel. Mommy loves you. Darling, are you okay? Calm down, man. She's okay now. So is your son. Thank you, doctor. Very well. I will leave everyone alone. Stay away from me. How could you leave your wife alone and date another woman? You even brought her here. Get out of my sight. Hey, hey, stop. What are you doing? Just calm down. She's my secretary. I drank too much at my company's celebratory party, so she drove me here. That's right, madam. Are you telling the truth? You had to ask. Fine, tell her to leave. Congratulations. You baby looks so smart and adorable. Thank you. And sorry for bothering you. It's okay, boss. I'm leaving now. Baby, let me hold our son. Look at him, Sam. You're so handsome, just like your father. Who's Sam? That's our son's name. Don't you like that name? Yeah, fine, whatever. Be a good father to him. Yes, I will. But their happiness faded quickly after a few months. What's wrong, Sam? You've had milk today. Why are you still crying? Thomas, I think Sam is sick. We need him to be checked. Shut up. I'm trying to finish my work. You can't even take care of your son's health. Are you really his mother? Make him stop crying. What is that angry attitude? Silent. I'm trying to focus here. But you know what? I'm going out for work now. Take care of him. How can I take care of him all by myself? And it's late now. Where are you going? Are you deaf or something? I'm going out somewhere to work. Thomas then went to Jessica's apartment. Mr. Thomas, it's kinda late. What are you doing here? I want to stay at your place this evening. Is that okay? What did you just say? I'm not hearing clearly. I want to stay at your place for one night, particularly this night. Are you serious? This is no kidding to you. Of course I'm serious. I need a quiet place to finish my job and sleep. My son's crying sound and my wife's complaining annoy me. Oh, I understand that, but I feel this is not right. I feel like cheating or something. 
Can you go to others or your relatives? This is late. I don't want to disturb anyone. Your house is closest to mine so I came to you for help. If you don't help me, that's okay. But we will have a conversation at my office tomorrow morning. Oh no no wait. We don't have to have that necessary conversation. I will gladly help you, but I might afraid of your wife. I don't think she would leave me in peace if she found out I allowed you to stay here overnight. Why bother? No one will know if none of us speak it out, right? You won't tell her, right? Um yes. I won't tell her a thing about this. Okay, please. You can come in my house. Thank you. The next night. Please don't tell me that you're going out again. Don't bother with things that aren't your problem. You've gone out at night several times this month. Please stay home and help me look after our son. I'm a director, so I have a lot of things to deal with. You don't even have to go to work during these months, so I'm sure you're not short on time. Use your free time to take care of our son and stop asking for my help. I'm out of here. He is your son, Thomas. What's your problem? How could you be so irresponsible? Shut up. What's wrong with him these days? Boss, why are you here again? You need to stop at my place like this. Jessica, don't always call me boss. We're not at work now. Call me Thomas. Okay, I see. And I think you need to know this. What is that? I think I don't love her anymore, and all of my love is for you now. Please marry me and become my wife. Wow, wow! What? Are you drunk, right? This is not a joke anymore. No, and I know what I'm saying. What about your son? He is only a few months old now. I'll tell him that you are his mother when he grows up. He'll never know. Sorry, Thomas. I do have feelings for you, but this isn't right at all. That will make me the third person. I can't agree with that. You are the man who already has a family. Don't worry, Jessica. I will divorce my wife soon. That would make her never know our secret relationship. That's okay. We will be together soon. Really? Yes. Let's go inside now. I want to get some sleep. One month later. Raven, let's talk. Talk about what? About divorcing. What the hell are you talking about? Let's divorce. But why did you want to divorce? At least give me a reason. I don't love you anymore. That's it. But don't worry. I'll give you some money after we divorce. Satisfied yet? You don't love me anymore. I see and I understand now. Lately, you don't even care about us anymore. And really often go out at night. Didn't even go home to sleep. Fine. We will divorce. But I will be the one to raise Sam. Are you dreaming? You will never get a chance to have Sam. Get back to reality. The conversation is over. We'll go to court by the end of next week. You can't do that. You didn't even care about him. Oh yes, I can do that. I will do anything to get custody of Sam. However, it was understandable that Raven did not gain custody of Sam. This is the final judgment of the court. Thomas is given custody of Sam. Raven will own thirty-five thousand dollars of the total assets of the couple. I accept that. No way. I'm not going to accept that. Say nothing more, Raven. Are you trying to defy the laws? This is so wrong. After the trial. Thank you for helping me. My problem is solved. Don't be so polite. Money can solve everything. Here is the rest of the money that I promised you earlier. Thanks. I can't believe you let my husband bribe you. You are such a corrupt judge. <coughs> I blamed you. Don't speak such words about me. I was helping your son have a wealthy life. You are right, but I think you should leave now. Otherwise, my wife might cause you more trouble. Okay, I'm about to do that. Thomas, I beg you, let me live with my son. I don't need your money anymore. Okay, I agree. Aren't you kidding? Nope. And you can still have that money. But I have a condition for you if you want to see your son every day. What condition? I'm going to marry someone else, and you can be the maid in my house. I will let you live in the garden shed. What? How could he treat me like this? But I have no other choice. It seems like you won't agree with that. So be it. Farewell. Okay, okay. I agree to be your maid. Good. And one more thing. This is the most important thing. Never let Sam know who you are. Otherwise, I'll kick you out of my house right away. Two weeks later, Thomas married with Jessica. Welcome to my house, darling. Wow, 
This place looks like a mansion. I love it very much. Ha ha, it's good that you love it. What? It's you. You are the woman who took my husband to the hospital that day. Did you seduce my husband? I won't leave you in peace. Are you insane? I'm not your husband anymore. You should know your place in this house, or I'll kick you out. Sorry, I couldn't control myself. Jesus, you need to send her to the madhouse. It's okay now, baby, calm down. That won't happen again, I promise. Five years after their marriage. Mom, do you want to play this frisbee with me? Go away, you little rodent. Ouch, ouch. Hey, why would you do that? He's just a little boy. What? Besides, who are you to question me like that? You. You're trying to do something to me, huh? Go ahead. I can't hit her in front of Sam. No, I'm sorry. Can I take Sam out? Get out of my sight. She's not a good mother to me. I don't like my mom at all. I think I'll distract his thoughts about that lady. Hey, Sam. I love throwing frisbee too. Can I play with you? Oh, you want to play throwing frisbee too? Of course. You can play with me. Great. Puppy, come here. You can try first, Raven. Really? Thank you. Wow, you did well. Thank you, Master Sam. Okay, puppy, give it to me. They played throwing frisbee for almost one hour. Ouch. Oh no, are you injured? Nah, I'm okay. I'm a boy. That incident was just a tiny problem. My god, I witnessed all that happened. How could you be so careless while looking after a child? I'm sorry, my bad. That won't happen ever again. Dad, please stop. She didn't do anything wrong. Hey, I haven't allowed you to talk yet. Be quiet. It's okay, little prince. I'm here with you. I asked Jessica to play frisbee with me, but she scolded me for no reason. That's why I played it with Raven. Stop defending her. She's not your mother. Welcome home, Thomas. Don't mind them. I know something that can cheer you up. Come with me. Really? What could it be? Just follow me. Okay, dear. Hey, Raven, I'll forgive you this time. Go back to work. What do you want to tell me, Jessica? I'm pregnant with a baby girl, and it's been almost four months. Wow, it's amazing. I always want a daughter. Yeah, look at this. I'm so happy. You can take a rest for a while. I'll tell someone else to handle your job at the company. You should take care of yourself and our child. Okay, I understood. But the truth could never be so simple like that. Are you insane? Why are you calling me now? What's the matter? I miss your voice, dear. And how is our daughter? I'm okay. So are our little girl. Don't worry about us. Good. I love you both so much. I'll try to get a large amount of money from Thomas and leave him. Yeah, then we'll be together. Mom, I need help. My toy is broken. Oh crap. I'm hanging up. You little kid. How dare you enter my room without my permission? Don't you know how to knock? Tell that maid to fix it for you. She's your real mom. I'm not your mom, so stop bothering me. What did you say? Oops, no. What do you mean by that? Is Raven my real mother? Haha, -ha, it's not that. I spoke that nonsense while I was angry. Don't bother. Why don't you ask for Raven's help? She's good at fixing toys and I'm not. All right, I see. Later. I knew it. I overheard the entire conversation. I understood everything now. Raven is my real mother, and Jessica is nothing but a toxic witch. And the baby she's pregnant with is not even my sibling. Something wrong? Can I help you? Raven, you're my mom, right? What? How did he find out? What is this joke? I'm not joking. Answer my question, please. Are you my mom? I, um, yes. That's true. I'm your mother, Sam. Then why must you hide it from me? Because I had a deal with your dad. I can't speak out the truth. Otherwise, I can't be with you anymore. Raven, stop talking. 
What nonsense are you speaking to my son? Go to the kitchen and cook dinner now. Okay, okay. Dad, don't be mean to her. She's my mother. How nonsense. Your mother is Jessica, and Raven is just a maid. That wasn't what I heard from Jessica. She even said something about the baby in her belly being someone else's child. I don't think that baby girl is your child, Dad. Hey, stop saying nonsense. Go back to your room now. What are you waiting for? Tiss off. Yes, sir. Back to Thomas's room. Welcome home, dear. How was your day at work? Hey, why did you tell Sam you weren't his mother? Are you out of your mind? I didn't mean to, I'm sorry. Fine, I forgive you. But don't ever speak anything thoughtlessly again. I don't want Sam to know our secret. Okay, all right. I get it. Five months later. Thomas, do you want to hold her? I think Sam was right. This girl doesn't look like me at all. I must do a DNA test on this baby girl. One week later. Jessica, I'll give you one chance. Speak out the truth. Huh? What are you taking about? Who is the father of this baby girl? It's you, of course. Shut up, you liar. I love you, but you cheated on me. Are you crazy? Why are you screaming at me? Then what do you say about this result? Oh no. Speechless now, huh? Get out of my house and bring that girl with you. Fine, but I'll show the cops the proof that you bribed that judge. You better give me one million dollars if you don't want to go to jail. Then I must say you're blackmailing the wrong person. Do it if you want. I will turn myself in and transfer all my properties to my ex-wife and son. You won't get even a penny from me, understood? What? No way you will do that to me. You can't treat me like that. Why can't I? Get out of my house right now. Thomas successfully divorced Jessica. However, he was also sentenced to five years in prison for bribery. Meanwhile with Jessica. What are you doing here? Peter, I have no place to go now. Please help me. Ha ha, it seemed not my problem anymore. There is nothing from you that I can take advantage of anymore. Go away. Hey, what about our daughter? How could you treat her heartlessly like that? I neither care about you nor the baby. I was just taking advantage of you to earn some money. That's all. You, what a shameless man you are. Admit it. The both of us are that kind of peel. Now get out of my place. Five years later. Mom, what is that, Sam? I haven't seen Dad for a long time. Where is he? I have no idea about that, Sam. But don't bother. He doesn't deserve your concern. I will get the door. Huh? Thomas? Dad, is that you? Yeah, I'm back. Get out of here. Hey, calm down. What are you doing? Don't ever show up in front of us ever again. Please, forgive me. Let me fix my mistake. Don't chase me away. Besides, I have transferred all properties to you and our son. Don't talk about money with me. We haven't touched even a penny of yours. Take your money and go away. Raven, please. Sam, can you give one more chance to undo what I did to you? No, Dad. Please, go away. All I need to know is that you're still alive. You will pay for what you did to us. That's the price. Have you heard that? Take your money and leave my house. I won't take back what I gave. I'll come back another day. Don't ever come back. And take your money with you. From that day, Thomas went to Raven's house every day just to apologize. It's been almost a month. Can you please give me a break? Please, Raven, I'm begging you. I know my fault, and I realized it now. I will never cheat on you ever again. Stop coming here. It won't change anything. You should go away before I call the police. Someday not far. Raven, Sam, please, forgive me. Go home, Dad. It's raining now. I won't go until I have your forgiveness. Don't mind him, son. Do other stuff and let him be. Later at night. Mom, he is still standing outside the house. And it's getting darker and raining heavily. Just ignore him, Sam. He will leave soon to avoid the rain. We'd better go to sleep now. The next morning. Oh my god. Hey, dad, dad. Why are you lying down there? Get up. Mom, mom, help me. What's wrong? 
He fainted. Dad must have been standing here all night. Dad, please wake up. I will forgive you. We should take him inside. A while later. My head. Where am I? Hoo hoo hoo. I missed you so much, Dad. I missed you too, my son. Please don't do that ever again. It could have killed you. I'm sorry. I have to do it. I have to show you guys that I have repented. And now I'm asking you for forgiveness. Can you please forgive me? Okay, I forgive you. You're still my dad, no matter what. And I think mom will forgive you too. Thank you, Sam. Dear, can I know your answer? Okay, fine. You have my forgiveness. But this will be the last time. Okay, I'll show you my eternal gratitude. Give me a hug, dear. After paying for his mistakes, Thomas lives a happy life with his family forever and ever. Thank you and we're now moving to the story too. I feel like I want to eat tacos at the Mexico restaurant. Me too. Let's go then. Mommy, I want some. What? You think I'm rich or something? I don't have enough money for you. Let's go. I'm starving. What can I help you, miss? I want a taco for me and my husband. What kind of taco do you want? Hey man, we're so hungry right now. Just give us your food. All right, sir. What's a cute daughter you had, sir? You talk too much. Just give your goddamn food. Please, I want some taco too. Oh look, your little girl is saying taco. I want a taco. God, she's like staring at the taco so sad. Shut the hell up, Mindy. You had your breakfast a day ago. But you just gave me small bread. Hey man, just give us two tacos immediately. Why not three tacos, miss? Please, daddy, mommy. I'm starving. I said no begging. You know I have no money for you. You have to starve. No begging. Hey man, can you do your job or not? Do you need me to tell your boss? Oh, okay, okay. Chill. So here's your two tacos. Okay, just remember, keep your nose out of my business. Um. Gosh, I feel so bad this poor little girl. She got no food. I'm really hungry. It's been so long since I ate my last meal. Can I have a taco, please, mommy? I'm so hungry. Mindy, don't you see I'm trying to eat here? You need to stop being annoying. Seriously, before I get the manager over here to lock you in the back room. Yeah, make it one week that you don't eat, Mindy. You need to listen to your parents. No, please. I want some food. <laughs> Stop annoying your mom. I'm so tired of your crying. You're too fat and you know it. What? She's so skinny. What are they talking about? This is so messed up. They're not feeding their own child. I need to do something for her. Hey, little girl, you're hungry. I have a taco for you. What? Really? Thank you, Mr. Taco Man. Hey, stop. What do you think you're doing? Why are you giving her that, man? Who needs you? Drop that taco now, Mindy. Why are you feeding our child, man? We want to starve her. Give me that right now. Hey, that's our food. You can't throw that away. I paid my food so I can do whatever I want, okay? And stop giving her food. But it's a free food for me. Stop talking. But I was just trying to help her eat. I don't care. This is my child. This restaurant is horrible service. Yeah, let's get out of here. I will vote one a star on your website. I'm sorry, Mr. Taco Man. My parents are horrible. I'm sorry, sir. Thank you for trying to help me. Oh no, they're getting away. Come back here, you jerks. Oh man, I gotta help that little girl. Hey, bro. I just came here. Why did you say come back, jerks? Oh Ben, thank God. Change shift, bro. But it's not my shift yet. My shift has one hour left. I need to help that little girl. What little girl? I don't see no little girl here. Because they just left. If I go now, I can still catch up with them. What happened to her? Dude, you're wasting my time. I will explain later if you change my shift. Okay. Deal. You'd better have a cool story to tell me. Okay, deal. Oh my god, there they are. 
I have to spy on them. Inside the house. I wonder what's inside. I really want food right now. That's not for you, Mindy. Get away from the frig. I'm so hungry. Can I open it? I told you that you can eat next week if you get your chores done. I will do the chores, but please feed me. Stop making excuses. Do your chores. I don't care. You have your breakfast. Now go clean the whole house for me. Yes, Mom. I'm doing it now. That's right. You better not miss one crumb, or you won't get one crumb to eat. Gosh, look how bad she is doing it. You really need to teach her this. I know, but she probably learned from her mom. Yeah, luckily I'm just a stepmom. I don't raise that kid. Ha ha! Look at her just running around like a marathon. She wants food so bad. Ha ha! God, I can't stand it. Make her stop, Tom. She gives me a headache. She's not eating for a month now. Mindy, you're being extremely bad at doing chores. Stop it right now. But, but I was just doing what you told me. Stop arguing with us. But I'm not. I said stop arguing. You know what you need, Mindy. You need to go to bed because we're tired of it. But I finished my chores. I need some food. Go now. But I haven't eaten yet. No, but. Okay, I will go to my room now. No, no, you won't go to your room. You will sleep somewhere else. What? Come with us. We have a surprise for you. Oh my God! They're coming outside the house. I need to leave. Here, you will sleep here. What? But it's about to rain, Mom. So? It's cold and wet. I don't want to sleep out here. Why am I not allowed in my room? That's an easy answer. I don't want to let you sleep in my house 'cause you stink. I won't let that stink smell in my house. But I take a shower every day. She said you're stink. You're stink. Am I gonna sleep outside here? It's getting rain. Oh my! It's raining. Let's go inside. Have fun being out here, kid. Don't get cold because we won't take you to the hospital. Hope you don't get abducted out here. I heard there are a lot of thieves out here. I'm your daughter. You guys don't even take care of me. Hey, I'm just your stepmom. I don't have duty to take care of you. Good night. Sleep well out here. Nobody likes me. Why do they all hate me? Even my own dad doesn't like me. Oh my God! What happened to my iPad? Look what have you done? What is it? Look, I can't believe this. You broke my iPad while you were vacuuming. No, I didn't break anything. Please, don't beat me with the rod. I'm over it, and you're done. I didn't do anything. Please, mommy. Shut your mouth right now and come with me into the house. Take this. Here is all your stuff, and you will leave this house right now. But I didn't break your iPad. It's not my fault. This is all on you. Why is the backpack so light? It's barely nothing inside. There's not even like food inside. This is what you deserve for breaking my iPad. But can I have some food? My stomach hurt. There are a lot of trash cans. You can find food there, and maybe you can make friends with some raccoons. Now get the heck out of my house. But where should I stay? You can go to the orphanage or somewhere. I don't care. Get out. Please don't leave me alone out here. Hey there, little kid. Who are you, sir? Don't you recognize me? Oh, you're the taco man. That's right. That's me. What are you doing here, sir? If my parents saw you, they would be mad. I'm trying to help you. They're such a bad parents. It will be all right. Probably they're going to sleep now. What kind of parents lets their own daughter sleep outside the house? She is my stepmom. My real mom passed away a year ago. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Let me take you home. It's not safe out here, and it's raining also. Thank you, Mr. Taco Man. Haha, <laughs> you can call me Lincoln. I'm Mindy. Nice to meet you. Okay, I will bring you to my place and get you some food and a place to sleep. Sounds good to you. Yes, I 
like your idea. Wow, this looks amazing. The house smells so good. Oh wow, are you a YouTuber? Um, yeah, sort of. Do you know Bella Story? Your Bella Story. Oh my God, I watch your channel every day. I'm your biggest fan. Really? Thank you. But I thought you were a taco man. Yeah, this is my part-time job. Hey man, why are you so late? Wow, who is this little girl who lets her in our house? That's the little girl I was talking about. Hi. Really? Why did you bring her to our house? I don't want to get any trouble with her. I'm sorry. I will leave now. No, don't leave. I have to bring her home because she has nowhere to go. Her stepmom kicked her out of the house. Well, you could bring her to the orphanage. But I love to have a sister, you know. We have a stable job. I guess we could raise her. So do you want something to eat? We have a lot of food in our fridge. Yes. I'm so hungry right now. I could eat all the food in the fridge. Haha, <laughs> okay. I'm gonna get some food for you. Here you are. Oh my, this is so delicious. Wow, slow down, little monkey. You will choke. Oh god, this is so wrong. I don't want to get involved with this, bro. I'm gonna get some sleep. Okay, now go get some sleep. This has been a long day for you. Yes, big brother. The next day. Do you want some ice cream? Ice cream? I love ice cream. Yay, ice cream. I'm gonna eat ice cream. Okay, I will take you there, little sis. What do you want for ice cream? Mindy, what do you want? I want everything. That's a lot. You can eat two at a time. Then I want a chocolate with vanilla ice cream. Okay, I can have a chocolate with vanilla ice cream. Loud and clear. Wait me a second. Yay, thank you. You look so happy when you're not with that bad parents. You've shown me a whole new world. My parents never take me to go anywhere. I'm so lucky and so grateful. You're the best. Better than the rest. Okay, where do you want to go to? How about the shopping mall? That sounds fun. I have never been to the shopping mall. All right, let's go. The train is about to start. Wait, wait, wait. What is this? You're the parents. What are you both doing here? Who is this guy, Mindy? You shouldn't be talking to the strangers. He's my new brother. He's gonna adopt me. I don't need you to because you kicked me out of the house. What? Did he abduct you? What are you doing with my daughter? I didn't abduct her. I adopted her. I gave her a better life because you're the worst parents and you didn't feed your own daughter. Oh, I remember you. You're the guy from the taco restaurant. You can't adopt her without my signature. Darling, I miss you so much. Come home with us. Don't listen to them. They're trying to pretend they care about you. Um, people, hello. I'm trying to run my business here. Can you please go somewhere else and argue with each other? No. no. Okay then. I will go somewhere else. Crazy people. Where were we? Oh, that's right. You made her sleep outside the house and you didn't feed her. That's not true. It was only for your own safety because we had bugs in our house. I know you're lying and you never take me to ice cream. But he does. He made me feel like I'm in a different world. A better world. Mindy, I want to be your mom again. Listen, she doesn't want to be with you anymore. Go away. She will be better when she's with me. Mindy, come on. Let's go. No, I won't go anywhere. I will stay with him. He treated me like a princess, which is how I was meant to be treated. Wow, what are you holding? Is that a taser? No, it's a toy, but let's see what it can do to you. OMG, it hurt. I can't move. My body is shaking. Hurry up, let's take her. Okay. Hey, put me down. Let go of me. Okay, let's get out of here. OMG, dude, are you okay? Why are you now showing up? I saw you and gave you sign. Sorry, man. I was too scared, but I called the cop. They will hear in any minutes. Gosh, I'm so mad right now. I need to take Mindy back. 
She's not going back to them. We're going to their house. Um, what are we gonna do to them? We're buying some time until the police come. And we show the police the proof. Did you record it? Yes, I got it here. Okay, let's go. Give her back. You won't do harm to her. Why are you so stubborn? She's our daughter. If she's your daughter, why did you treat her like that? No parents should treat her like that. Get out of my house right now. Hello, what's going on here? I got a call about child abuse. Oh, I think it's a mistake. There is no child abuse here. You should go home, sir. No, wait. We called you. I have proof. Well, this is unacceptable. You two are underrested for child abuse. No, this is our daughter, and we can do anything we want. Now get out of my house. You people are annoying us. No, two people were arrested for child abuse and resisting law enforcement. No, get out of my house. Ouch. Now stay down there. Do you want to get like that too? Um, no, I surrender. Okay, now get on your feet. You will be in jail for a long time. Are you okay, Mindy? Yes, I'm fine. You guys are just in time to save me. From now on, you won't live in fear anymore. Yay, thank you, big brother. I will take you to the mall to celebrate. Let's go. Oh, can I come? Then let's go. The end.